these aren't these things aren't discussed in context and in perspective. Now, here's the real reason why blacks are disproportionately in jail because that's the argument that that's the other argument they make. Just hey, look at the numbers, black. But there's more black people in jail as a percentage, so clearly there's a problem in that community. But the reason why they are is because of the drug war that white people and black people use drugs at similar rates, but black people get arrested four to six times more often. These are studies that show this. So that's one of the main reasons. But then also, let's be honest, poverty is another big aspect of this. If you're in poverty, you're more likely to turn to to crime to try to get means to continue to survive. And also racism. I've told this story on air before. I know Republicans hate it when you mention that, but racism still exists. Look, I grew up in a very multicultural, multi-ethnic, multi-racial environment, multi-religious, you name it. And on the north end of town, which was predominantly white, you could do fucking keg stands in your front lawn if you're high school kids and nobody bothers you. My friend lived next to a judge and we would stand out in the front and do fucking keg stands and smoke weed. Nothing happened ever. But if you're on the south end and you're on your front porch quietly smoking a joint, the cops will come and fucking tackle you and bring you to jail. Why? Because cops are told, don't patrol the affluent white areas, go patrol the poor black areas. 